So now let's go through the steps of how to create an audio response type of activity using Schoology assessments. So again, going to come over to where I want this in my course and I'm going to um, click the green dotted line and I'm going to add another assessments. And we're just going to breeze through this because we've already gone through this setup before. Um, so we're going to do Spanish language practice. And you can use this audio uh, response question, not just for foreign language. It can be used for a variety of things in all different curriculum areas. And I'll just put my pseudo point value and I'm going to enable submissions. And that will give me a password. And I'm just going to check that to keep everyone sleeping nicely. And of course I forgot my category, so we'll go back. So again, when we get to this landing page here, it's going to bring us to the setup. So you can double check to see if there's anything that pertains to your activity that you want to change. I'm just going to change the uh, ability for students to review after they're done so they can see any feedback that I might leave them. And once I've done that, you gotta make sure that you save those changes if you made any, and then you can pop over to questions. So I'm going to go over to questions. So here is our list of question types. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the audio question type. So again, not a lot on the screen here. So I'm going to go here to where the question is. So I can either type in a question that I want the students to respond to using an audio recording, or I can even bring in my own recording. So I'll do both here. So I'm going to put in the text here so the students would be able to read would be forced to respond to this um, using an audio recording of themselves. But I can also use this tool over here and I can record myself reading that passage as well, or I could just re record myself reading that passage and not provide any text whatsoever. So I can click on record audio. If you've got a pop-up that asks to allow using your mic, you will click allow. Then once it has picked up the mic on my tablet, I'm going to click here to begin recording. So now it's going to be recording my voice and this is going to be automatically embedded into my question for the students to listen to. So when I click finish, I can play it back to see if it sounds so the way I want it to be. And if I'm not happy with it, I could click cancel. But if I am happy with it, I'm going to click OK, and then it's going to process it, depending on how long it is. Um, it could go a little bit longer than you saw mine. You can see here, this is a preview of what the students will see. They will get this bar so that they can play your audio. And then I'm going to click OK. So it doesn't look like it here, but when we preview this question after we've saved, you will see that option to be able to um, play back the audio. Um, maximum length seconds re is in regards to how long do you want to give the students to do their recording. So right now the students have 600 seconds. You can adjust that, make it longer, make it shorter, depending on your preference, if that's the default. So before you hit preview, you do want to make sure you save. Otherwise, when you hit preview, you will lose your work. So let's go ahead and just click on this question again. We've already saved it, and now I can hit preview. So you can see here, the students will be able to play. So now it's going to be so it's, my voice. They're listening to me. And then down here, they will be doing their um, recording, their response back. And again, you don't have to just use this for foreign language. If you want the students to respond to you know, something that you're doing in English class, you can do that. Um, a variety of different ways that you can use this across probably any curriculum area. And once we're done, if I can exit out of this, if you need to edit anything, you can click edit question and go back and edit the question. Um, but I'm just going to X out of this because I am ready to go. And now this question is ready for the students to partake in. And again, just using one simple Schoology question as a little quick activity for the students to do, possibly even as an exit ticket um, or homework. But there's so many different ways you could use this feature.